When it comes to finding treatments for COVID-19, the scientific method starts with raiding the medicine cupboard. That was how University of Oxford researchers alighted on dexamethasone, a steroid first used in 1958. And people have tried it off and on for infections and particularly for lung infections, but with inconclusive results. And so um, back in the beginning of March, when we started out uh, tackling COVID in the UK, we started out this trial. It was an obvious candidate. I don't think any of us had huge expectations that it would work. Um, but what we've seen today is really quite impressive and compelling results. Many drugs have been tried since the start of the pandemic. President Trump has touted the benefits of hydroxychloroquine. I'm taking it, hydroxychloroquine. Right now, yeah. yeah when... The Oxford scientists found that was ineffective. Key to their success has been assessing every drug with a large clinical trial, an area where the UK can genuinely claim to be world-beating. This usually kind of treatments don't develop for years then from novel diseases and actually to find something that has this high effectiveness in actually reducing death rate from this disease and effectively that's what it will do is actually quite outstanding so it really is a phenomenal finding and I think that's something that we have that track record of, that track record of in the UK. Dexamethasone only helps the sickest patients so it's far from a cure but because it's cheap and widely available it could have a big impact quickly across the world. Dexamethasone is a, like a common drug in many countries, especially in the developing countries, where it is being used for rheumatoid arthritis, for different syndrome, and also for asthma. So therefore, there is no shortage of this uh, drug in the developing countries. Dexamethasone has already been used to treat coronavirus. It may be one reason why death rates in Italy are comparatively low. But we didn't know for sure it worked until now. That is a huge step forward. Roland Manthorpe, Sky News.